was attached to the brief. If not, we sent out some discovery requests to Mr. DiPerno uh, yesterday uh, related to uh, this report uh, that we, we, we require for the purpose of defending the secretary against the allegations that Mr. DiPerno has made both publicly and in, the, in this motion. Uh, they're not particularly complicated discovery requests. We're at, we asked initially, actually, for the names of the individuals who are involved in the report. Uh, Mr. DiPerno, as, as of this morning, I think provided them, but we would like that in the form of a discovery response. We've also asked for copies of everything that the investigative routine uh, obtained from the exam and used in the course of preparing this report. And we had two requests to admit uh, related to Mr. Bailey's uh, not residing in Central Lake Township or Village. Uh, those are particularly burdensome requests, and since they are necessary for us to respond to this preliminary report that will now be made public, uh, we would ask that the court direct Mr. DiPerno to respond to those requests by Friday at the end of the week. All right, uh, Mr. Chasm, are there any issues with regard to my order? No, Your Honor, the county does not have any issues with regarding your own order. All right. All right, thank you. Let's go ahead and go back to Mr. DiPerno as to the discovery that was submitted with the uh, materials from the Secretary of State. The court did have a chance to review those materials. Uh, are you able to respond to those materials by Friday? Again, I would note for the parties that we have a scheduling conference set for tomorrow. I propose that we take a few minutes and conduct that this uh, after this hearing is conducted so that uh, you're free tomorrow. Uh, Mr. DiPerno, uh, with regard to the request made by Mr. Grill. Um, well, the, the, his discovery is uh, procedurally premature right prior to the scheduling hearing under 1.109. Um, uh, but aside from that, um, I suppose I could respond by Friday if he agrees that when I send him discovery today, that he would also respond by Friday uh, and that we do that mutually amongst the parties. Um, and that I would, I would expect by uh, this evening uh, to file our uh, uh, cross claim against the secretary of state as well. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We will institute a seven day response period uh, for discovery, uh, absent uh, agreement of the parties or uh, absent a specific request with regard to discovery that is provided. Again, I've advised the parties that we're going to be moving aggressively on this case. Uh, it's an injunctive case. And as a result, we have a six month uh, period of time in which to uh, handle this by the court rules. But I would like this, uh, given the importance of it uh, to uh, the operation of elections here in Antrim County, I'd like this to be handled more quickly than that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and institute for all discovery, a seven day response period. Uh, obviously depositions would be handled separately. Uh, and what that means is that we'll expect Mr. DiPerno to respond by Monday of next week. Uh, similarly, Mr. Uh, Grill, uh, should there be discovery filed uh, by the plaintiff uh, or by uh, Mr. Chasm, uh, the secretary would be required to respond within seven days as well. Uh, are there any other issues with regard to the order this morning? Um, yes. Are, are you saying that we cannot release the report until an order is signed this morning? I'm going to go ahead and allow release of the order. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to allow release of the report or any other matters uh, that I've discussed this morning. Uh, I'm going to assume that the parties will be able to get an order in today. Yes. Thank you very much. Just to clarify, right. Your Honor, I'm not sure the court, did the court rule on the request that we see the redacted version before Mr. DiPerno distributes it? Exactly. Uh, we do need to make sure that there is agreement with regard to the redacted version. Once that's done, uh, then the parties may distribute any materials that they wish to distribute uh, in this case. All right. With that, let's go ahead and talk very briefly about scheduling. What I'd like to do is go ahead and set a couple of dates and then my court, my staff will issue an order. I know that they are watching now, so they will take these dates down. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, require experts and witness exhibit lists to be uh, provided by 1224 of 20. That's 10 days from now. I'm going to set a discovery for a two month period which would mean that discovery will close on 2-8 of 21. 
any dispositive motions will need to be filed by 222 of 20. And we will plan on a trial sometime in April. What we will do is uh, submit an order uh, to the parties uh, with these dates on them. Uh,